Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you the root mean square value of a sine wave, such as alternating current or voltage. A 10 ampere DC current produces more heat as compared to a 10 ampere AC current. This is due to the reason that for most of the time, the value of AC current or a cycle remain less than the peak value. The waveform of AC current produced by an electric generator is given by I is equal to I naught sin theta. The average value of AC current over a cycle is zero, which is a meaningless quantity. We can apply an alternate approach to get the effective value of AC current or a cycle. We call it root mean square value or DC equivalent of AC current. In short form, we call it RMS value. To find the RMS value, first of all, we square the waveform. This way, the negative half cycle is converted into a positive half cycle. Then we take the average of the resultant waveform. Finally, we take the square root of the resultant which cancel out the effect of squaring in the step 1. Finally, we are left with the root mean square value or RMS value of AC current. Now, we apply these steps to the waveform of AC current. First, we square the waveform. Then, we take the average of the resultant. And finally, we take the square root to cancel out the effect of squaring in the step 1. In this way, we get the real effective value of AC current over a cycle, which we call the RMS value of AC current. The RMS value is also called the DC equivalent of AC current. RMS value of AC current is equal to 70% of the peak value of an AC cycle. We can apply the same procedure to get the root mean square value of AC voltage. Hope you would have enjoyed the video. Do not forget to support us. Thanks for watching.